In today's video, we are going to make a jungle bird cocktail. Welcome to Thirsty Thursday. I'm Mark, and this is the Average Me Channel. And in today's video, we are going to make a jungle bird cocktail. You see, I have one of my tiki glasses out. We'll talk about that a little later. Let me tell you about the disappointing thing that just happened. I made this entire video. I mixed this entire drink. I started editing it and I got about a third of the way through and I had no more footage. I have no idea what happened, but I only had the first five minutes. So, so let's hope this one goes a little better. The Jungle Bird Cocktail, I feel that it is absolutely a tiki drink. After all, it does use dark rum. It uses uh, fruit juices. So we're back to our roots here. And this drink was originally created in the 1970s. So it's kind of a, by cocktail standards, a pretty recent, pretty new cocktail. It was created at the Kuala Lumpur Hilton by a bartender named Jeffrey Ong. At least that's what I have been able to find. And the website for that hotel proudly proclaims that they were the creator of the Jungle Bird. So we're gonna go with it. Why should I question that, right? So today's video, or today's cocktail rather, is going to be using a dark rum. And I thought that I was gonna use this up the first time I made this cocktail, but I think there's enough in here to squeeze one more Jungle Bird out of that. Amaro, Amaro is, uh, it's a liqueur and it's designed to be, or I shouldn't say it's designed, we don't design liqueurs, maybe they do, but it was originally created as a digestive. So we have our aperitifs, which are supposed to prepare the palate for your meal. Then we have our digestives, which are to be sipped after the meal to help us digest our food. And that's what Amaro is. And I tasted it the first time, so I might as well taste it again. Uh, it is a bitter drink, but I gotta tell you, it's not an unpleasant drink. And I could see myself sipping a little of this after dinner. It's a lot sweeter than you would think. So what would be in a bitter digestive? Who knows? It's said to have a wine base, and then they add uh, herbs and spices and flowers and roots and bark. And this is what they end up with. Uh, they originated in Italy. So let's face it, when it comes to food, Italy doesn't let us down, do they? Pineapple juice, simple syrup, and lime juice. And I still have the other half of the lime from the first time I made this cocktail. It was just enough. So let's hope that we can get just enough out of this half. Oop. <laughs> Look at that, my first half of the lime is still in there. That proves to you I'm not telling a story. I really did just make this cocktail. So we're looking to get one half ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice. In my experience, at least the limes that I use down here, is that one lime usually gives you one ounce of juice, and this half a lime did give me one half ounce, maybe a little more, a sliver more. Oh, before we start pouring this in, get a little bit of ice in there. We do want to uh, shake this to get it chilled. So there is our half an ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice. And we're going to take this and just push it off to the side for now. Next up, we are going to add our rum. One and a half ounces of dark rum. Now I did buy a fresh bottle of dark rum today. I knew that I was running low on dark rum, uh, but I might get just enough out of this. Oh man, we could probably put a smidgen more in there. Should we put a smidgen more in there? Yeah, let's put a smidgen more in there. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't crack my, uh... yeah, we'll use, use this up. I'm glad I didn't crack my tiki 
Why am I putting the cap back on an empty bottle? Oh well, gets it out of the way. Then we're going to use an ounce and a half of our pineapple juice. We are going to use three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. And three quarters of an ounce of our Amaro. Amaro, it's a bitter liqueur. And this little bottle is probably two ounces because I, I used it um, twice now at three quarter of an ounce and there's a little bit left in there. So let's see, did I do it? We have the rum, the Amaro, the simple syrup, the juice, my lime. We are ready to mix this. Let's shake it up. As always, you know, you see about five seconds of shaking. I probably shake it for 45 till it gets really nice and cold. You can see the outside of this is nice and frosty now. And what we're going to do, I have a glass of ice here. It said that this was served in a bird-shaped porcelain vessel. Well, I don't have a bird-shaped porcelain vessel. I did find this picture on the site for the um, Kuala Lumpur Hilton. It's a vessel with a bird on it. I don't know if I'd consider that a bird-shaped vessel, but I'm just using my tiki uh, glass Tiki mug, I got this from the Wicked Dolphin. The Wicked Dolphin is in Cape Coral, right near where I live. You can see my bar mat is also Wicked Dolphin. Why not promote and help the local guy? So we have ice in there. We're gonna strain out this ice and pour it over fresh ice. And doesn't that look delicious? Now ideally, with uh, Tiki drinks, you kind of want to use crushed ice, but I'm just using regular ice. And this brought this right up to the top. And we are going, you know what I don't have? I've got to get a straw from down here. I actually, um, what happened to my straw? I just, I just finished off one of these cocktails. And I don't know what I did with my straw, but we'll use a, a second straw here. And I have my mint. Now, I have to say my mint plant outside in the lanai, it's showing some age. I don't know. The, the, it still produces good mint, but the leaves are really tiny. And I think it's sort of at the end of its life cycle. So what I'm going to do is take some clippings, some trimmings from, I don't know what you call it. I'm not a you know, plant guy. But I know I'm going to put it in water. It will start to grow some roots and I can plant a new mint plant and we'll start all over again. Now, typically at this point, as you all know, I stop the action and I take a photograph, but since you really can't see the cocktail anyways, I will tell you it's a little foamy and it's kind of yellow because of the pineapple. And you know, I keep looking over here. I see something out of the corner of my eye. I think something or someone is in my yard and it's just a palm frond is getting really low from uh, my palm tree and it's swaying in the breeze. And I, I catch that movement. My cat's also out there and he's taking a little nap and uh, he's enjoying himself. So let's give this one a try and see how it tastes. I know how it tastes. I had one already. It's my second one for the night. That is so good. I've got to tell you, with the exception of the Harvey Wallbanger last week, we were on kind of a bad streak. We had some cocktails that were kind of duds. You know, those last two monorail cocktails and um, I didn't think too highly of the Black Russian and the White Russian. We are back on track. This is a delicious cocktail. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to join my cat out there. He looks so relaxed. I'm gonna go out there and join him, sit in the lanai mm, and sip on this cocktail. I am getting all of these flavors. Uh, you know, we have to give a toast to Jeffrey Ong because this is great. We have the dark rum, 
taste of that is coming through. We're getting uh, enough of the sweetness from the simple syrup and the pineapple juice. Of course, you get the pineapple, the fresh lime. This is a hard uh, taste to describe. The Amaro is, um, you know, it has all of that. The, the floral essence, the, the, the roots and the barks and all that. So, so there's a lot of um, almost undefinable tastes in here. Well, I'll tell you, it's a good drink. Even if you don't have a bird-shaped vessel, if all you have is a tiki-shaped porcelain vessel, or if you just have a regular old glass, give it a try. I think you're going to like it. Uh, and by the way, speaking of liking things, I'm going to encourage you to go over to my other channel. I just started um, feeding content onto it and um, people seem to be enjoying it. It's called A Look Back. I'll link it down below. Different channel than this. It talks about uh, things in, in, in days gone by, you know, celebrity profiles and events and sort of a nostalgic channel. You might like it, I hope you do. If you go over there, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And while you're at it, why don't you subscribe and give me a thumbs up and like and share this video. Your friends will thank you when they taste the Jungle Bird. Oh, it's so good. So I'll see you back here next Thursday. I'm Mark and this is the Average Me Channel.